Hello again, and welcome back to um, Let's Play Pokemon Reborn. Uh, trying to, here trying to challenge the second gym, and Fern's locked us out. So, we're gonna have to try and find a way in. Looks like we can go in through this way. Hey, you're the one they said to keep out, huh? Hotshot Blaine would like the battle. Eagle. Water poles. Not very effective. Oh, but we're confused. That's no good. Switch and whisper. Here's some echoed voice. Please don't confuse us. Okay. Please, please don't confuse. All right. And then we got. Ooh, a Dewpider. Very nice. And now it's dead. So much for that. Whatever, I never saw you. Alright, so now we're inside the trainer school. Right. These all trainers? This is the top school in the region. That's amazing considering the current acting principal is only a graduate of two years. Pokemon by base set total. Okay. Total 300 back on Baltoy, Beldum, Beltrap, Bronzer, Krogrunk, De no, a lot of Pokemon, yeah. Yeah, okay, I get it. Calculating total power. There are three factors in determining the end power of an attack. Firstly, the base power of the move. Let's take the move Confusion, for example. Confusion has 50 base power. Next, apply the multiplier based on the type of uh, effectiveness. If a confusion is used on a Mankey, a fighting type, it will be super effective. Therefore, it is doubled to 100. If it were used on a Crow Gunk, for instance, it would be uh, effective twice and would be doubled again to 200. Finally, factor in the same type attack bonus, or stab for short. This is the bonus. Uh, yeah, I know about stab. Uh, Fusion attack from Cadaver will be stronger than Venonat. Uh, 1.5 times better. If you ever use it, the total power is 300. It's as simple as that. You should check out the books in school, they're a great read. Lorena might not have the best social skills, but she knows how to get things done around here. And there's a Pokemon Center here, thank god. That would have been very annoying to have to run all the way back. Discharge versus Lava Plume? Discharge and Lava Plume, both area attacks discovered during the Gen 4 era possessed very similar traits. Each one has 100% accuracy, 80 base power, and affect all adjacent op opponents on the field. They also have a 30% chance to inflict status effects. However, whereas Discharge is Electrotype, Fire Plume is... Lava Plume is Fire. Accordingly, they inflict different status as Paralysis Burn, respectively. Also notable, whereas Discharge is learned by a wide variety of Pokémon, only 15 Pokémon can learn Bla Lava Plume. I don't about Huntail. Let's take a look at our uh, situation here. I may be close to hatching. I can't wait for this egg to hatch so we can have a six Pokemon again. Really should just run around and hatch it one of these days, or between episodes maybe, but really just don't want to have to do that. Cherubi! Hit it with a gust. Go ahead and leech seed, I don't care. Finish it off with another gust. Drew it down, and a weasel. This is gonna take a while. Well, that leech seed's not not helping us out here. Oh damn it! There we go. Do whatever. Well, whatever is going to involve running over back over here to the Pokemon Center, and then heading back this way. You're the one the boss wanted. 
Jojo would like to battle Taylor. Switch it, Rocky. Quick attack. Don't care. Rock two. Down it goes. Moral. Moral. Uh. Super. F oh, jeez. Yeah. I don't don't know why I even. Left him in. Burn it with an ember. Finish it off. There we go. And back up the stairs. Alright. Oh. The students are all in a fluster. I need a distraction. Elder Landon would like to battle. Sends out a whooper. Shop it. Doom. It's good enough. Oh, Will O Wisp. Crit's good, but not quite good enough. Please finish it off. Oh, we're disabled. Uh, Rock Tomb, I guess, then. Gyro Ball. Uh, it wasn't enough. Finish it off now. There we go. Heal. We got our ass kicked there a little bit. Alright, let's go with this room. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I finally just earned the points I needed, and then the Onyx Arcade system goes down. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I quit. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Hey, hey, you. You, you know what? Take this. I don't want to need it anymore. I'm moving on. Join. Obtain the coin case. Stupid. Yay! I don't need to learn about bear, bear tick, I don't think. Nice, though, we got the coin case. Lock door, okay. Stealing these protective pads. They're ours now. These are mine. The computer is spazzing out. It doesn't seem to respond to any input. Well, there's a port on the, for a chip on the side of the monitor. Oh, well, we'll have to remember this. Uh, okay, let's see what... Uh, protective pads. I don't remember what those do. They're probably some something weird. Uh, these pads protect the holder from effects caused by making direct contact with the target. Okay, well, that's very, very situational. But, you know, it... We might need it for a uh, gym leader or something. There's some boss boss battle. It becomes an issue. You're not going any further. Orders are orders. They come from the top dog. Hot Chuck Terry says that Starling. Down. Love that I got this onyx. It's such a good addition to the team. Mm, that was a crit too. Right. Looks like there'll be a three hit KO. There we go. Careful, Rocky. You don't want to get too high a level. Stop listening to me. That'd be a problem. 
There's some things that just can't be changed. Locked. Uh, what do we have in here? Personal diary of Tit Titania. Uh, so you think it's cool? You're reading other people's diaries? Hoping you'll find some dirt on me here? Or maybe some weeping emotional confession? A little piece of advice. If you want to get to know someone, go talk to them. Don't creep around their private files. But if this is the kind of person you are, don't bother trying to talk to me. Personal diary of Amaria. Yes. I don't know, diary. I know I have everything a girl could possibly want. I have lots of friends, an amazing partner, great education in life, but it doesn't feel like it. I always try to smile and be cheery. I'm very good at it, apparently, or else I might not have made cheerleader captain. I guess I was secretly hoping that it would make me happy on the inside, too. But I guess that was naive. I'm tired of feeling this way. I'm tired of feeling like I'm always drowning. Tanya tries her best for me. I know that, and I appreciate it so much. But in that end, will it even make a difference? I'll see you in Meaningless tomorrow. Another false smile. Well... On fairy tales. History is a habit of letting little girls wander past the forest edge, only to be swallowed up by any number of enchantments beyond. She awakens in a tower, stone, cold, alone. A dragon guards her, its fangs barred to the world. Brimstone beneath faithfully res Brimstone breath faithfully reserved for whatever metal clad ignoramus thinks himself so mighty that even fire may not char his miserable flesh. But there is only one who can slay the beast. The one to whom its back is turned. The Personal Diary of Florinia. Should you really read this? Yes. Dear Diary, this will be my final entry. The retention of emotions have proven uh, veritably counterproductive. Irrational thoughts and feelings remain a severe detriment to work efficiency. Moreover, they appear to invari invariably breed scorn in those with whom they are shared. This writer has lost much on behalf of these tur turbulent, confounding variables. Emotional uh, decision has thereby been deemed necessary, beginning with the termination of archiving. Farewell. And personal diary of Julia. Do I want to read this? All right. Yeah, I don't want to read this. So something super duperly cool happened today. I made cheerleading captain. Many booms were had, but then, but I feel bad. Hey, that rhymes. Maybe I can work that into a cheer. Anyway, I feel bad because Amy had to give up her spot. Oh, well, she didn't have to, but she did. But she recommended that I take her place, and I did. Amy was such a great captain. I can't understand why she wanted to leave. And then afterwards, I wanted to go out and celebrate, but Tani and Amy were hanging out in their room like usual. So it was just Rini. And of course, Rini never wants to go anywhere because she's too shy and all social interaction is not a productive blah, blah, blah. So here I am. I think I'll just go to sleep. Night Sea's diary. Yeah. Alright. Hey, you. Are you going to try to stop? Listen, I think you're really cool. I was just wondering if you wanted to maybe grab out sometime. I mean, grab out. I'll go out. Oh, damn it. Okay, okay. Calm down. I've got this. He doesn't have this. You're a gym challenger, aren't you? Scissors are frequent here, but they usually don't have to come upstairs. Are you lost? No. Hey, Sly, don't move. <sighs> Susan wants to battle with her combi. Don't use dust. Then I don't use dust used it much better. And one more. There we go. Do you even go here? No, I don't. 
That's why they're attacking me. Whatever, I tried. Uh, is this a passage? It is. I've been studying up on the field seeds that have been growing uh, around the region. I read that in Alol there's four types of seeds for electric, grass, mist, and psychic. But the seeds that grow in Reborn are entirely different. There's four types. Elemental, Magical, Tulric, Tulric, and Synthetic. Apparently each of them has different effects depending on the type of terrain that activates them, but they do have limitations. Each terrain can only activate one type, and they can only be used once before they disappear. It seems like I'll have to study harder to learn all their effects. Why don't try this out and see for yourself? Telluric Seed. Uh, let's see. Alright. Central Hall Gate Unlocked. Heal. Alright. Progress has been made. Make it to the gym later yet. So everyone else didn't do anything, huh? Guess it's up to me. Well, good luck, buddy. Oh, we got three Pokemon. We're gonna try and put up a little bit of a fight then. No, oh, Hyper Fang. And I thought Hyper Fang was like half your current, not half your. Did Hyper Fang get buffed in this? That's. That's scary. Um. So what? It just kills anything but two hits? Or. Maybe three if they're an odd number? I don't know. That's. That's, uh. That's frustrating. I don't know what to do to kill it quickly then. Yes, we use Muffin and use the Psy Beam. Shallows. Water ground, Psy Beam should be fine. Not, not fine enough. Still be a 3 hit KO as long as we don't get confused. Okay, Shallows down. Swirlix. Uh, fairy type. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wish I had a better counter for the fairy. That good voice. That good voice again. And one more time. Down it goes. Right then. Fern's gonna kick the crap out of me. Yeah, probably. What level does Starmie learn Rapid Spin? I don't know. 25. Look, I can't get any of these questions. I guess I have to read up. I think the answers are in the books around the school. Maybe just the ones lying on the floor. What a mess. Oh, I see how it is. Fast and Furious Pokemon. Let's talk about speed. It's a crucial element in winning battles, knowing if your opponent will move first, so it's important to know how fast each Pokémon is. Take a look at the fastest. The axis speed form uh, reigns king, but its normal and attack forms aren't far behind. However, Ninjask actually takes the second place. After that, it's uh, Selgor at 1, 155, 145 speed and Electrode at 140. Yikes. Down from there, it's a four-way tie between Crobat, Jolteon, Aerodactyl, and Mewtwo at just 130. Then, uh, Meloetta's pirouette form and Sky Shaman come in there after. Finally, Swellow, Weavile, and Darkrai finish out our list with just 125. That's it for the fastest Pokemon known to date. Steady up. Uh, okay. So, alright, so. I know where I can get the answer to that Huntail question, at least. That was in one of these books over here, I believe. Huntail's number in the National Dex. One... or 367. Huntail's unique... 
pre-evolution clam pearl may become either a huntail or its sister species, Gorbis, depending on what item is helping with training. Huntail retains different strengths than Gorbis, however, uh, such as a more physically based move pool to complement its boost attack stat. Uh, additionally, whereas Gorbis' natural move pool takes on a psychic pseudo type, uh, Huntail's could be said to follow that of a dark type. Regardless, Huntail remains a fascinating co contrast from a scientific standpoint on the impact of items on evolution. It was a number 367. 367. 367. 367. 367. Correct! Alright. I think that was good. You think you're ready to beat us? Hope so. Attempt that Porygon. There's a special attack. That's not good. Oh, Jesus. Uh, if I switch, whoever I switch is going to get killed. So I might as well... Miss with confusion. Uh, okay. I don't have any strong, like, fighting types. I want to use Parish Song. Just in case this goes badly. Drop two. Bravo. Moves that never miss. That's like Swift and Aerial Ace, right? Yeah, yes, it is. True or false, areas have field effects that can increase or change the power, accuracy, and type of some attacks. True. What is uh, Corsola's base stat total? No, uh... Three o four. Yeah. You gotta run back and heal anyway, and then we'll read that uh, base stat book. I assume that I'm going to have to answer all these to get through the... Uh, no, this is the wrong book. This is the one we need. Uh... Huh. I missed it. Just torn out. The next one would be because they did 305. The next one would have been 306. So let's. Oh! I went too far. Practice arenas are great, but sometimes they get a little messy. 
Okay, so... Incorrect. Alright, well, I guess we'll just have to look around then. The trouble with the qu quiz questions? Better study up! Just read the books around the school and I bet you'll find your answers. All about Starmie, the mysterious Pokemon. Yes. Starmie evolved from the, is evolved from Staryu, who greatly improves stats. Uh, regrettably, the natural move pool is not one of Starmie's strengths. Like most stone evolved Pokemon, its natural moves become severely limited. In fact, it officially learns only five moves naturally, four of them being at level one. These moves include Water Gun, Swift, uh, Rapid Spin, and Recover. The final move is Confused Ray, learned at level 40. All in all, the choice to evolve Staryu is best made after it has already learned the moves it will use. So... That means that this, the answer to this is one! Here we go! Some of these are really tough, but they're necessary to answer for anyone who wants to channel to Florina. I figured so. Switch for the gate, huh? Your road ends here. Eevee? Down. Oshawa. Ouch. One more. Down it goes. Oh, you mean that gate key. Look, tell Fern I gave you hell, okay? True or false? Field effects can be destroyed or transformed by certain attacks. True. Alright. So how many Pokemon can learn the Lava Plume by level up? Hmm. How many was it? Was it 15? There we go. We read. I knew we read that earlier. What level does a Cubchoo evolve? I don't know, but I know where to learn, learn that. Uh, field effects of special characteristics may dramatically alter battle. True. Uh, so we need Cubchoo and Corsola information. And yeah, it's so just those two. So the last two things we need to learn. Uh, I believe the, the Bertic books were in here. Yes, uh, level 37. Parotic is a unique Pokemon whose ability is allowed to thrive in multiple kinds of weather. Its Snow Cloak ability, one of the precious few hail-dependent tactics, grants it extra evasion in the snow. On the other hand, it's one of only two non-water types to get the Swift Swim ability, augmenting its lackluster speed. Because of the unique typing with Swift Swim, uh, Parotic is a great addition to any rain team looking to balance out their types. Okay, 37. 37 is a cut two question. Launch Crow. Mm. Oh. Uh, could it be in one of these? Uh, study notes. Answer. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Uh, Togekiss learns that. Beat up attack. I think it's, uh... Actually, a high attack dark type is best to use it. All right. Study notes: never miss moves. Uh, thirteen. On fairy tales. No, we already read that. 
diaries. Not helpful. Let's go ahead and input that uh, cup chew question so I can put it out of my head. 37, correct. Okay, that's done. Now, let's see. Let's see, I'm looking for like loose books or ninjas. That's no. No, we already read this stuff. Was... Hmm. No, no, yeah, we've already we've been through all this. Hmm. I think there was an in. Mm. Can we go into the next room? Is there maybe more here? Okay, yeah. Here we do. We just have to keep going forward. Uh. Corsola is consider considered rock and water types. While not the best combination, it does have some unique strengths. It is given two very useful defensive abilities in Natural Cur Cure and Regenerator, along with a host of defensive moves to support it. Recover, dual screens, and an assortment of defensive setup moves give it strong staying power. Fortunately, the Coral Pokemon is unlikely to see top tier competitive use anytime soon, limited by its relatively low 410 base stat total. There we go. 410. Corsola should get an evolved form. It, it's a single form Pokemon. It could easily you could easily evolve it. Like if you have a bigger one, do like a Magnemite Magneton kind of thing where it's got uh, um, like a extra faces or something because it's like you know. A coral reef kind of thing instead of like a lump of coral. It's like a big, bigger lump of coral, like a uh, Rufsola, cor Corifa, or something like that. Uh, you could call it, and um, uh, and just, I mean, it it's got a move. It's got move set for like it being a defensive thing. The typing is not the best, but. Um, just give it more stats. Really? <laughs> yeah, okay. 410, correct. There we go. That's great. Alright, so... Huh? Yes! The egg is hatching! Finally. Okay, what is it? Something cool. Duckling. Disappoint me. It's going to be a disappointment, but it ran out of space. Disappoint. Uh, just more disappointment, I guess. Uh, I should have known it wouldn't have been anything cool. I should have known. It was an effort of pure optimism to, to, to even try, and, uh... uh. Alright. Uh... I think Florini is, like, grass, so... What do we want to bring? Who, who, who's coming in our party now? Okay, we gotta get we gotta bring Pulse Ultra back.
maybe not the best. I mean, we should probably get, like, level up the gr Grimer or something. If, if it's, uh, we'll, we'll just see how, ba how bad the gym leader is. If the gym leader crushes us the first time, then, you know, then we'll do something different. Just clubs. Back to that. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's the main entrance. That's locked. Okay. So it looks like we're gonna have to fight Fern now. <sighs> Those dumb kids can't do anything right, can they? Look, Matt, really, don't take it personally. You're just a loser. Plain and simple. So really, by not letting you embarrass yourself in our gym, I'm doing you a favor. And you won't even thank me. But it's fine, I got you. Now just turn around, go home, and give up. Yeah, I didn't really think you'd be smart enough to listen to me. Fine, have it your way, man. Ah, uh, Fern, you're such an asshole. I hate you so much. Okay, I should have I should have known that was coming. What do I have against ground type? I should have remembered this would be a problem. That's just not fair. Crit and a flinch. about to go down. Yep. Oh, dang, it's fast. Oh, wow. actually think you're special, do you? Crit! That crit mattered. I got no counters to this. It wouldn't have one-hit KO'd anyway, but you gotta get that, uh... I would've lost anyway, but you gotta get that extra paralysis in there, you know? You, you just... You gotta, you know? You gotta do the, get that one last bit of... Okay. Uh... So I could maybe win against her if I just go again and I lead with, uh, Baby Doll against that, uh, Sand Isle. Instead of letting it chew through most of my team. 
yeah. I'm stubborn, so I'm gonna do that. going down, that's okay. It's okay. Let's see, she's got like tri attack, razor leaf. Okay, so we're gonna send in Whisper now. We're gonna start building an echoed voice. Jeez, why is that so strong? Shouldn't be doing that much damage. Okay. I forgot that AI is smart enough to actually like switch when it needs to in this. Damn it! Sally is so tanky, I don't know why. Has Roselia always been this tanky? I'm gonna fucking die anyway. something with now. Matter. I'm just gonna... That was a crit, too. That was a crit? Why is this Dartrix so damn strong? Well, fuck it. We're way over how long I'm, uh, this episode was supposed to be, and I can't fucking beat Fern. So, this is it for today. We'll do more tomorrow, I guess. We'll fucking grind a few levels out and hope for the damn best. Maybe switch up our team a little, but 
I don't fucking know. I don't know why that pluck was doing so. I, I'm not ending this episode yet. Hold on. I gotta look up what the, the base power on pluck is supposed to be. Uh, Cerebi, move. Come on, show me. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Show me the attack decks. Uh, flying type attacks. Pluck. I don't see a pluck on here. Is it not a flying type? Why would it not be a flying type? Um, okay. Uh, just alphabetize. Pluck, pluck, pluck. Serebi doesn't seem to have pluck listed as an attack. I know it's, I know it exists. And it's, uh... It's not, like, new to... Pokemon Reborn. Let's just Google it. Pluck. Okay, Bulbapedia's got it. No. Well, Serebi does have it. I was just blind. Uh, base power, 60. Um, yeah. Like, why was it doing, like, so, so much damage? I can't understand. Um. Alright, well, that, that's it. That's all I can do. It's the end of the episode. Do that YouTube stuff. Tomorrow we'll... Figure out a different strategy.